Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. Not a really big uh, release week uh, this week when it comes to new release titles. I believe The Grinch and Widows are uh, two of the movies that uh, hit hit that format today. There's a lot of stuff uh, coming out burn on demand wise some of which I'll talk about at the end of this video so stay tuned for my my blu-ray uh, review portion at, at the end of this thing but let's head on out to some of the usual spots uh, and see what kind of uh, deals there are to be had well guys at my first destination of the day the local Goodwill let's head on in and see what kind of cool stuff they have I haven't been in this one for a while well guys just got into the the Goodwill over here and the smell Smells like ass and feet all up in here. I don't think they've washed these carpets or did anything to them in a while, but it kind of smells like dookie butter uh, in here just a little bit today. But they do have that Drop Dead Gorgeous old school snapper case. You, anybody remember this movie from back, was it like the early 2000s or late 90s or whatever? I, this is something I remember uh, as, a, as a kid. Uh, you know, not, not as a kid, but as like a you know, like a teenager growing up and things. But I also not not really seeing a whole lot so far. Uh, you know, looking at some of the stuff that you know they have in, it doesn't look like they replenish things uh, in a long time. And uh, looks like they also got a piano in uh, recently. Well, guys, I guess the person that's in this good world right now is just obsessed with that piano, and he's gonna be playing it throughout this whole uh, portion of this video here. But the only Blu-rays I'm really seeing uh, when it comes to this uh, this Goodwill today is Beverly Hills Chihuahua 3 and like all these Monster High uh, Blu-rays. Nothing that really interests me whatsoever. Well guys, that looks like it's pretty much it when it comes to like, you know, the DVDs and stuff. Just a lot of like weird, you know, generic stuff. Well, this was actually kind of cool when I first saw this one back in the day, the Jimmy Neutron movie back then but like you know just i'm gonna move on to the vhs's now and see if they have anything kind of cool in here because like the, of course the artwork back in the day during the vhs era was a lot cooler in my opinion than it is these days and stuff well you know shot factory stuff put, puts out some good stuff but man this is like i was like going through some of these the super nostalgic stuff for me like the mighty duck stuff and of course the kid in king arthur's court with thomas right there thomas and nicholas I always have some you know fond memories about movies like that you know growing up but this one right here sound of music i never really got into i love musicals and things but i never really got into that one for some reason well guys at my next destination of the day the local best buy let's head on in and see what kind of good deals they have today well guys just got into best buy and they're having a buy one get one free sale on certain uh the a certain of these titles 7.99 and up of these uh, sony releases of uh you know like bad boys 2 uh, one and two collection proud mary jumanji uh you know the first goosebumps movie a couple of other titles not a whole big you know wide selection i don't know if there's a more a more of a selection in the section over here but they do have like a little bit of stuff of buy one get one free uh right here and this is pretty much the whole section that's kind of cool that they have a new baby driver and a spider-man homecoming part of the buy one get one free thing but yeah am i gonna get in any of these i don't know but guys check this out i didn't even know this was coming out on blu-ray and it has like all new special features and everything poetic justice man and it comes with like uh, all new special features like te uh, 10 deleted scenes like it uh, looks like a little making of John Singleton thing and maybe like some screen tests with like Tupac and stuff and also it comes with like a commentary on it that I believe was on the original DVD but now it's on blu-ray hell yes man well guys I'm over here in the movie section itself now uh, some of the main stuff that came out today was the Grinch uh, right here DVD blu-ray 4k and they even have this uh you know best buy exclusive steelbook version of the grinch today uh the only difference is it's just like him you know in that different kind of pose and on the other cover it comes with a dog you know with him and stuff not a real big difference but it's kind of cool to they have like an actual green you know steelbook but some of the other stuff that i believe came out today was widows the new viola, viola davis movie with liam neeson this one looks like it could be kind of kind of enjoyable let me know if any of you guys uh, saw this one in the theaters or not all the devil's men i believe is another one that you know came out today uh, i believe it's lionsgate home entertainment i don't think i've heard about that one uh before something called the uh, a private war 
This one looks like it could be okay with St Stanley Tucci in it, but I've never I never heard of this one to be honest. And a couple of the other ones that came out today was those uh, How to Train Your Dragon movies. Was this last week and I just missed it? But you can get them on like Best Buy exclusive steel books too for part one and two. This, the, I remember liking the first one, but never really remembering that much of the second one. And I know now there's a third one that's going to be coming out into theaters. It's getting out of the beast right now. And of course, I had to pick up Poetic Justice. I can't just like let that sit right there. Well guys, over at my last stop of the day, the local Wimby's, which is of course a little thrift store that has DVDs and a little, you know, Blu-ray section in there. Mostly DVDs, but let's go in there and see if they changed anything out. Well guys, as you can tell, you know, they have like a nice little, you know, DVD section over here. But like, this is the, the little Blu-ray section they have, this little, you know, shelf right here. And I saw that they had, you know, um, Boogie Nights. I don't know if I have this on Blu-ray or not, but I also don't want to buy it and be stuck with two copies of it. I know I have an issue when it comes to like not remembering everything I have in my collection and things, but hey, whatever. This one right here is a classic though. I remember loving this when I first saw it uh, back in the day and I think I watched this movie like what? Probably like 10, 15 times, you know, <laughs> ever since it, you know, it came out back in the day. Blow, it's actually a really, really, really good one. And what is up with these thrift stores today and these Monster High Blu-rays? Did, like, someone, like, just, like, try to get rid of their collection of them or something? Because, like, you know, <clears throat> Goodwill had a bunch of these today and it looks like this place has a, hand, a couple of them, too. Oh, well, but as you can tell, it's not the biggest section of uh, uh, Blu-rays in here. And, uh, I could have sworn... This Blu-ray was out of print at one time, but I could be I could be mistaken. But I'm gonna you know look through some of the other like regular DVDs and stuff that they have in here, and uh, hopefully you know find something cool or you know out of the ordinary. Because here's something kind of sort of out of the ordinary. You don't really see this too often, but it's not one of the you know best Ernest movies. But Ernest in the Army, that's kind of you know cool to see. You don't see a lot of um you know, uh, earnest movies out there. A couple of days ago, when I was on Facebook, I was scrolling around, and is it true that John Cena may be playing Ernest in an upcoming Ernest remake or something? Is that true? Is that just like a meme? Let me know down below in the comments, because he did kind of sort of look like Ernest in the pictures that they compared, you know, Jim Varney to uh, John Cena and stuff, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if I would have liked that, though, if they do... You know, make another Ernest movie but with John Cena doing it. Well, guys, I don't know if you can tell or not. I'm in a different location right now. Um, I got a phone call uh, from my mom asking, you know, asking me to bring home some 13-gallon trash bags. I'm like, okay. But uh, so I stopped in the Dollar Tree, and uh, I walked in here to get some trash bags. And it looks like they have some, like, you know, Blu-rays over here and some DVDs and things. So I'm gonna look through here for a moment or two and. See if there's anything cool. This isn't, I don't think it's like a new batch of stuff or anything, but I haven't like looked in this actual section here uh, for a while to see if they have anything, you know, a little different up in here, if you know what I mean. But ooh, this is kind of cool. I think I already own this one already, but just not that cover, you know, with Chuck Norris on it. Hopefully they put Sidekicks on Blu-ray one day, man. Sidekicks is my favorite uh, Chuck Norris movie, that in a movie called Top Dog. Let me know what's your favorite Chuck Norris movie in the comments down below. But let's see if we find anything, you know, uh, cool in here. Because they put all the Blu-rays in this little, you know, section by itself. And it doesn't look like a whole lot of new stuff. You know, from what I saw from, like, the previous sales and things. Ooh, the King of Comedy. That's cool. That's cool right there. But, just, you know, just perusing, seeing if there's anything cool in here. But like I said, this is not a new, you know, batch of stuff. Like, not a new sale or anything. But for 99 cents, you know... You can't go wrong. Well, that, that was actually a good documentary if you've never seen it, guys. The Jordan Rivers one. Well, guys, just got out of the Dollar Tree. Uh, of course, got those trash bags. And I ended up picking up the King of Comedy uh, on Blu-ray here. I know for sure I don't have this one, at least on Blu-ray. I know I have it like in a Martin Scorsese DVD pack and stuff. So I got this and Poetic Justice today. But now, let's head on home for some new DVD and Blu-ray reviews. Well, guys, I'm back home now from hoarding up. Already showed you guys, you know, what I picked up today, which is the, you know, uh, the King of Comedy from the Dollar Tree, and of course, Poetic Justice, which I just had to get up on uh, over there at Best Buy today when I saw it. I was just like, what? 
But like I said at the beginning of this um, hoarding up video today, there's a good amount of catalog titles that are being released, burn on demand, uh, from this one company. Sorry, it's when the weather's out, when the weather's like this. My nose, like, you know, starts to run, so I don't want to, like, look all funny and stuff on this video. But, uh, like, some, um, you know, catalog titles are being released, Burn on Demand on Blu-ray, and uh, from, this mo from this website called MovieZing.com. I, I get stuff to review for them and showcase for you guys on here. And they sent me a couple of my favorite movies that were released on uh, Blu-ray recently, and I believe they came out today. Uh, the first one up right here stars Robert Downey Jr., Charles Grodin, and uh, Alfre Woodard, a bunch of other people and it's a movie that I loved growing up as a kid called Heart and Souls. Uh, the only all I ever had of this was an old crusty DVD of it and like it was like a, I believe it might have been full screen and it was like the first generation uh, you know DVD so like that picture quality wasn't as up to par as like you know later DVDs were but now to finally get the film on Blu-ray and in widescreen it just looked so much better to watch this movie in high definition. If you guys don't know what this movie is, uh, it's about this, uh, young kid, you know, uh, about this little, um, okay, it's about these four people, uh, that are out there living their lives. One of them's kind of a criminal, uh, the other one's, a, a mom, and the other one's just fall, you know, falling in love with another, uh, falling in love with a man, and, uh, and Charles Gordon is a, a guy that's too scared to, he wants to be a singer, but he's too scared to do so. And uh, one night, uh, they all get on this one bus. And uh, at the same time, there's this one lady that's in a car traveling to the hospital because she's about to give birth to a baby. But yet, you know, as the bus driver is being distracted, the bus flips over and everyone dies on the bus. And uh, the, the, four, the four people, you know, become ghosts and go you know, get attached to this young boy that just that's just being born, and uh, it's just it's just a really a really amazing you know uh, funny heartfelt story, and how this uh, young boy uh, played you know played by Robert Downey Jr. it has these you know four spirits around him his whole life, and um, you know people think he's crazy you know people when he's a kid think he thinks he thinks he's crazy. And so, like, you know, they disappear for a while and come back years later, but yet they have unfinished business. And uh, they have to try to use, you know, Robert Downey Jr.'s body and him to try to, you know, right the wrongs in their life. And it's just a, a really wonderful, wonderful movie. I wish this one had, like, special features on this disc, but it, it is the best I've ever seen this movie look. And, uh... It's just one of those movies that comforts me when I watch it, you know what I mean? If you guys have ever seen it before, the part where uh, Alfre Woodard uh, is, you know, trying to find her family, and the whole thing about hug a bug, hug a bug, bear, holy shit, that makes me cry every time I, I see this movie. But uh, Heart and Souls, man, finally out now on Blu-ray, and another one from MovieZing.com, I have a link to their site down below if you guys want to get these. Uh, the next one up is, a, I, the next one up is a movie about money, and I've always loved movies about money, like uh, uh, Money for nothing, uh, Brewster's Millions and stuff like that, and this is another one uh, that I've always liked, starring Michael J. Fox, Kurt Douglas, and that, and, and a bevy of other people, and it's a movie called Greedy, and that's, of course, the first time this, this has been on Blu-ray, and it's pretty much about, uh, uh, what's it called, My, Kurt Douglas's character, who's an uber-rich, uber-rich man, he's like, this is like a self-made gazillionaire, millionaire, whatever you want to call it, and, uh, He's on his last legs. He's, you know, a about to die. And all his greedy family was like, was, are coming, are all coming together to see if they can get into his will, see if how much money they can, you know, they can maybe get out of him before he dies or, you know, what have you. But yet there's this uh, character, you know, played by Michael J. Fox, which is like, you know, like, a, you know, a cousin or, you know, a grandson or whatever, who just doesn't really care. You know what I mean? That he has all this money or anything like that, and and they know that it's Kurt, you know Michael J. Fox is uh, Kurt Douglas's favorite, you know favorite uh, grandson, and they're just trying to like get to him so maybe they you know they can get all the money. It's just a it's just a it's a really a, a big mess, but I, I do love this movie very very much. It has of course the late great Phil Hartman in here, you know a, a bevy of other people like the the lady that was in. Uh, um, what was it called, uh, uh, Wonder Years, that played the older sister in the first handful of seasons of Wonder Years, uh, is in here, it's just a really, a really fun movie, if you guys like movies about money, and people trying to get money, and what's gonna happen to all this money if he dies, it's one of those movies, it looks really great here on Blu-ray, and just happy that 
is out now in 1080p. And another one um, that Movie Zing uh, put out too is a movie that I haven't seen in a long, long time. And I still have to sit down and rewatch it. I just popped it in and looked at the picture quality. But that is a movie called One True Thing. Just a, a really nice uh, family drama movie that it always, it always kind of, you know, hits me where the heart is. You know, when it, whenever I, I, I did pop this, pop this one in back in the day. But this Blu-ray right here does have a special feature on it of just like, you know, spotlight on location. Like a little, like, short behind the scenes, you know, making of uh, featurette on this bad boy. But I just wanted you guys all know that this one's out now out on Blu-ray too. And another one, uh, last thing up from MovieZing.com. Uh, in last week's show, I talked about... Uh, season 24 of this show and now in this week's show I watched The Amazing Race season 25 uh, here on DVD if you guys want to get any of the seasons you can uh, on that website and this one right here you know you just get a, a group of people who uh, you know come together to go on The Amazing Race to go to all these different countries to perform all these different tasks in hopes to win a million dollars and of course in this one you get all you know all the episodes of season 25 uh, of course, there's a disc missing in here because my mom's, uh, you know, watching it in the other room. But I already got a chance to watch it. Always uh, enjoy this show. One day, one day, hopefully, I can be in a contestant and, and you know, go on this thing and go on, go on a crazy adventure with my mom or, you know, someone, you know. But I just want you guys all know that season 25 is out now, too, on DVD. And uh, next up over here, I got from Paramount Home Entertainment. It's a new 4K Blu-ray digital copy combo pack of... Uh, a film produced uh, by J.J. Abrams, and that is a movie called Overlord. I believe this one uh, may be coming out next week, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this one's pretty much about, um, what's it called? These, uh, uh, what's it called? Para... I'm trying to, I forgot, I forgot what their thing's called. Uh, American paratroopers. American paratroopers back uh, during the, the, Nazi, the Nazi war. And, uh, you know, these guys are, these American soldiers are parachuting in, you know, to Nazi t you know, territory, you know, uh, during the war. And uh, this little group of soldiers kind of get stranded and um, are trying to figure out how, what, what, what the hell is really going on. And there's kind of sort of, you know, um, Nazi zombies uh, going on in this movie. Uh, I thought this one had some really great action sequences, nice set pieces, and everything nicely acted in here. But there is a lot of slow parts uh, in this movie. I found myself like fiddling around, you know, on my phone when I was watching some parts of this because there's like good portions of the movie that just take place in this house when it's just a little bit, you know, dialogue heavy when you kind of want to see more action because a lot of, most of the action happens up front and towards the end and maybe it's a tiny, tiny bit in the middle but it just seems like a lot of parts of this movie kind of dragged uh, in my opinion. It does look amazing here on uh, on 4K. The colors you know, really do pop, and you know, when, when during the dark scenes, it does look really nice and gritty, and I do, I do like that the the whole look of the film, but like it just didn't, it didn't execute. Uh, the movie wasn't as good as I thought it, it could have been, and I they could have used a little bit more zombies than they ha sort of had in here. But hey, you know whatever. Nazi zombie is a Nazi zombie, and that's kind of cool. But uh, that's Overlord here on uh, 4K. You get some, um, of course, a couple of behind the scenes special featurettes uh, on this bad boy. So if you're a fan of J.J. Abrams, you guys might get a kick out of this. But he's just the producer on this one right here. And uh, last but not least is from Lionsgate Home Entertainment, and this one stars uh, Nicholas. Cage and it's called Between Between Worlds. Sorry, I'm having a hard time speaking today, but uh, it's about this uh, guy played by Nicolas Cage who is um, you know kind of like a a low life kind of guy. He owes a lot of people money. He's kind of down and out in in, in a way, and he comes across this one lady uh, one night in this um what's it called like liquor store or whatever. And she's being cho she's being choked out by this guy, you know, in, in, a, in a bathroom stall. And he comes in, you know, knocks the guy out. And she's like, hey, asshole, what are you doing? You messed up everything. And he was just like, I'm just trying to help you because you're getting yourself choked your shit out of. And, you know, kind of thing. And come to, you have to come to find out that, you know, she's trying to help somebody by getting choked out. And, like, you know, sort of like, you know, getting, you know, passing out and trying to, you know, go in between, you know, uh, our world and the next kind of thing it's kind of it's kind of a crazy uh concept of that that is really going on here because her daughter's in the hospital and i believe the only way she can sort of contact her uh because you know she's in her daughter's supposedly in a coma is by getting choked out and like you know sort of like 
astro astro projecting or I don't know. It's really kind of crazy. Um, I did highly enjoy this movie. Uh, it, it was a lot of fun. Of course, you get your crazy Nicolas Cage performance in here, like we all come to know and love, uh, you know, from him. But uh, this does have a crazy little twist in here that I don't, I don't want to give away. But I did, I did, I did kind of, kind of got, a, got a kick out of this film. But uh, if you see it out there, definitely check it out. I say it's worth a rent. Uh, watch it before you buy it kind of movie. But guys, that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today. Thank you so much for watching. So glad my video today is not over an hour long like some other people's. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for all your support. Deuces.